Whereas in the past, we might have evaluated functions. Today, we're going to look at how to find values of trig functions for acute angles. And now remember, acute means less than 90. Uh, this word means less than 90 degrees. So all angles less than 90 of right triangles. And this means there is uh, one angle that will be exactly 90 degrees. So I should do it like this, less than or equal to 90 degrees here. Uh, and we'll solve right triangles from that. So we're going to be using trig or trigonometric ratios to solve these. You probably remember these as sine, cosine, and tangent. Well, there's also three. They're reciprocal values. That's cosecant, secant, and cotangent. These things uh, are real simple. Cosecant is the same thing as 1 over sine. And that theta, that's just what we use to say it's an unknown angle. It's kind of like x, but if it's an angle, we'll use theta. Secant would be 1 over cosine. And cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. And so these are, when you see me write them, I'll write S-I-N. We don't say sin, we say sine. It's just abbreviated form. We drop the E, sine theta. This is the same thing as cos theta. And this is the same thing as tan theta. So we're going to talk about those. Reciprocal is just these. That just means flip. Uh, we have some inverse. And that would be uh, defined angles rather than side lengths. And so we'll have those angles. And elevation means we're looking up. Depression means we're going to be looking down. So this one would be looking this way. The angle of depression means we're looking down. And it will be referring to, as you look, would be angle going this way. And this one would be referring to the angle going this direction. That would be your theta here. This would be your theta. So that's what we're looking at today. All right, so the first thing you need to know are these relationships. These are on the formula chart, that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. You probably learned it that way. Here's what I'm going to tell you today, uh, that sine is y over h. Uh, y stands for the height, and h is your hypotenuse. So y over h, I'll say psi y cos x and that's x over h. The h will always be silent, and tangent is y over x. If you can get that down, this whole chapter becomes really easy. Psi y cos x, tangent is y over x. And so here, the inverses, you just flip them. So cosecant, which we abbreviate as CSC, that's equal to h over y. Secant, which is the reciprocal of cosine, is h over x. And cotangent, which is COT, that's equal to X over Y. All we do is flip them. So psi Y cos X, tangent is Y over X. Get that down. Psi Y cos X, tangent is Y over X. So it says find the exact values of the six trigonometric functions for theta. So here's how we do that. Here's the angle. And we need, for this to be true, we always need that angle on the X axis on the x-axis. So I didn't say that here. The angle needs to be on the x-axis. If not, we'll just turn the triangle. So this angle is on the x-axis, so this works. So sine is y. So sine will be equal to y, which is 33, over h, which is 65. This is my h here. This is my y, because it's going up and down. It's like the y-axis. 56 is my x. It's on the x-axis. So psi y cos x x is 56, and the silent h. Psi y cos x, tangent is y over x, 33 over 56. So you can see where these getting these numbers. Now the reciprocal functions are just, you're just going to flip them. So cosecant, you flip this, this would be h over y. Secant would be the reciprocal of cosine, so it would be 65 over 56, and finally, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it would be 56 over 33. You could use any one of these to figure out what the angle is here. So now you take a try at this one. I would suggest you turn your shape so that you can have the angle on the x-axis. What do I mean? Turn it like that, and now you try. Psi y cos x, tangent is y over x.